Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. So glad you could join me on this very windy day, as you can tell. Today I brought with me a brand new knife from our folks over at Charade that have been very good with the channel support. It's the SCHF 42. They featured it at SHOT Show. It is a Brian Griffin design. And a lot of us are really excited to get these and test them out. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions review on this. This is just my thoughts, the initial thoughts. I plan on doing some long-term use on this blade over the course of the summer, maybe doing some skills video with it to give you a better idea and a more in-depth review on this blade. But first I'm going to cut away. We'll do a quick stump top specs rundown. Then I'll come back. I'll try to make some feather sticks and whatnot. And then I'll give you some quick first impressions on this SCHF 42. Come along and join me. Yep, got a knot right there. Yeah. Not bad at uh, doing feather sticks. Let's use the spine, see how well it scrapes. Spine scrapes really well too. Really aggressive 90 degree spine and the jimping is very aggressive. Works really well at doing that. And it's just razor sharp.
secret is with any blade finding that sweet spot I mean just look at the curls bring it up close just really nice curls does a great job let's try it with this ferro rod it's pretty windy I don't know how it's going to do lighting this feather stick, but we'll give it a shot. This 90 degree spine is really sharp, so I'm sure it'll just rain sparks. Well, if we didn't have 40 mile an hour winds, I'm very confident that that would have lit. But it showered sparks really well. And it looks like they put a titanium coating on this blade. And it is holding up really well. Normally, coating on that when you're striking a ferro rod will come off. Or when you're batoning. And it seemed really durable. It looks like the same coating that I had on the SCHF-28 and that has held up really well. So this is my buddy Haas using the SCHF 42. I want to get like his initial first impressions of this blade too because he's an avid outdoorsman, hunter, fisherman and I really value his opinion when it comes to uh, a lot of tools that we use in the outdoors because he's out here living it. Here I try to make a breakfast spoon, something I could really eat some cereal with, you know? Oatmeal spoon, something. How's it cutting for you? Well, it's slicing right through it. I mean, it's only pine, but it's, it's maybe even a nice smooth edge. Something's not going to leave any splinters in the lips. There you go. Which is a real benefit when you're, <laughs> when you're eating oatmeal. Not to have any wood fiber or an extra, <laughs> extra added in. And then I can chop to help round it a little bit. Try to make it a as, as close to the stainless steel stuff at home as I can, and it just shakes it right off. And I love the handle. Even in my larger hands, the handle Feel, fits. Feels really good? Yeah, the handle fits. And feels secure. It's not, when I'm pushing down, it's even being a little bit smaller than my hand it doesn't move now he has what i would call a large to extra large hand if you're wearing gloves or i'm wearing medium gloves so that that's pretty good right there so we're talking you know a broad range of folks are probably going to find this knife very comfortable The wind's blowing pretty hard out here. At one time, the whole camera system fell over. But the show must go on, as they say. And look at the, the shape the recurve is leaving in there. It's going to be perfect for a spoon. Put it in there and then pound, uh, batoning that uh, recurve down. Once I clean it out, it'll be perfect for a spoon. And however however curved you want it is just how how far you baton it. So it's fun to come out here and do these projects and really test this gear. That way, you know if it works. That's why we come out. So, you know, you folks, you spend your hard-earned money on gear. You want to know if it's going to perform. So here we we're, we're just trying to show you. You know, it may not be the best way or the only way, but you're seeing a different way of doing stuff. And, you know, it may appeal to you, it may give you an idea how to, on how to do something. And in the process, we all learn. I think your pine's splitting though. Yep, I went too deep on that one yep. cut. We might have to do a uh, V.2 version. 
but you're working with wood, so that's going to happen. You're going to split, it's going to check. Look at that. Once I, once I chipped it, how easy it is to take that out of there. Again, the recurve is coming in extremely handy. We were having a conversation earlier about people that don't like recurves, but to me, that's working really, really well. Oh, and there went the spoon. Yep. Is that one split? Yep. But it illustrates on how well that knife's performing, though. It's going to happen when you're doing wood projects. Might have to go with a little bit thicker piece next time. Yeah, I mean, or at least wait to shave the back off until I get the recur, or until I get until I get spooned, get spooned out. Yeah, all dug out. But yeah. you folks kind of get the idea on how the knife's performing. How's that jimping feel on the top for you? I'm I'm good with it. I, I like the especially when I'm pushing down like this, getting my fingers and trying to keep my fingers out of the way. It's I've got good control. Is that jimping where yeah it's gonna chew up the thumb a little bit you know what i had an idea yeah, try try the pommel of that blade and see how well i mean as a scraper how well that's gonna scrape that out just don't cut yourself oh yeah look at that you know it might break the spoon but what i'm trying to do is illustrate yeah, that works that worked out nice yeah so there was just enough aggress aggressive jimping on the pommel of the blade to where it's just really, really digging out the, uh, bowling out that spoon. So that's definitely a plus right there. So if I hadn't crosshatched it so deep, it would have chewed it right out and it would have been nice. No, that's pretty cool. But that's a great illustration. Now for some quick first impression thoughts on the Schrade SCHF 42. First off, right out the gate, I really like the sheath. Well done on the design. Has an awesome welt in there. Just quality job. The blade, in my book, very great design. Brian Griffin, you did an awesome job designing this blade. The only criticism that I would have is just, it is really aggressive jimping on here. Maybe just tone it down a little bit because it kind of bit into my thumb really well. But 90, de 90 degree spine, really sharp. The pommel has some aggressive jimping on there too for processing, would do a great job. Now, the handles. The handles are some of the most ergonomic, just great feeling handles that I've felt in a knife in a very long time. And I'm not saying that, being a Schrade fanboy, that Schrade sends me knives. I'll tell it the way it is, folks. The palm swell on this blade is just all ergonomic, and it just fits my medium-sized hand very well. Now, note to Schrade, just like William Meyer said on Chris's channel over on Prepared Mind 101 when they did an impression on this, Schrade, take note, you need to put this on every blade that you can. Brian Griffin designed an awesome handle design. Now, for the folks out there, you either love or you hate a recurve design, my advice to you is this. If you don't like a recurve blade, don't buy a recurve blade. For me, I don't really have a problem with it. I've carried unique blades all my life. Just takes a little bit of extra effort sharpening it, no big deal. But as you can see, just processing wood and feather sticks, it just makes really nice curls for a feather stick. So, my first impression on this, Shrade, you did a great job. Hit the right design, and as always, I know that the price point's gonna be spot on. Pardon the wind out here, folks, it's real world conditions. But uh, staying on point, as I said in my 2015 lineup video months ago, Charade's really changed the game. There's a lot of affordable options out there that are really well done, that are functional, and 
This is one in their lineup. Now I know that Brian Griffin also designed the SEHF 9, which has just been an awesome knife. And it's like a Hall of Famer over at Charade as well. This, my friends, is definitely going to be a Hall of Fame knife. Now, I'll be testing this out all summer, doing some different tasks with it. And I'll be reporting back on the progress of this blade. So stay tuned for that. Folks, this has been a quick first impressions video of the SEHF 42 from Charade. I thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Folks, if you like the content, please subscribe, like, and share. And for the latest channel updates, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and Twitter. Folks, thanks for checking in. Until the next video, take care. We'll see you.